There's certainly no shortage of places to have a drink if you live in Harrogate. And I'm not just talking about bland chain pubs. We've got some places with real character. I'm going to show you the best of them this afternoon, starting with the one behind me, the Devonshire Tap House. Well, this is my local, the recently refurbished Devonshire Tap House. They have eight cask lines. They have, I think, 12 keg lines. Very relaxing place. Just overlooking Skipton Road. They do a nice line in cheese and meat boards as well. I think it's free on a Sunday, about half past six, you can have a free cheese board. Well worth a trip away from town, the Devonshire Tap House. Okay, so we're at Harrogate Station now, we've got a choice. The next pub is 90 seconds along the Leeds line, towards Leeds, at Hornbeam Park. So have a look at the uh, the times in the station. If there's a Leeds train pretty soon, then jump on the train, one stop, Hornbeam Park. If not, then wait a little while, and instead, pop in there, the Harrogate Tap. Rooster's Tap Room. They moved here towards the end of last year, moved their brewery from Knaresborough and they built onto it a little tap room that's open I think five days a week. I think it's closed Monday and Tuesday or something like that. Breweries through there. Now fully open including uh, the kitchen. This is a uh, beer it is very freshest. Well worth a visit. Okay, so back off the station. I've been to Hornbeam Park. I'm now going into the Harrogate Tap. See what's in there. Using recently refurbished station buildings, the Harrogate Tap is about the best there is. More than 20 taps, a beer lover's dream. Okay, so we're now walking down to the Disappearing Chin, which is the next bar on the list. Can I take this opportunity to ask you please to subscribe to this channel? It does really make a difference if you are able to do that, and please hit that like button if this content is any good to you at all. I'd also like to draw your attention, I'll show it now on the screen some other Harrogate content. If you're into pork pies, we've got the Pork Pie Wars. Probably the quirkiest place that we'll visit today is the disappearing chin now this has got two entrances one on beulah street there we're looking at and then one behind us on station parade a little bit of seating at the bar and then nice comfortable chairs dotted around not the biggest place in the world so i'd get in early if you're going to visit it's got three cask lines i think about 10 keg lines some really really quirky and unusual beers um as they haven't gone that long of going for less than a year i think uh, i would say disappearing chin well worth a visit opposite the theatre is North Bar. They've got three uh, cask lines there and about I think, 10 keg lines do a bit of their own brewing as well. Some real niche products, they do festivals as well. I think they did a USA beer festival last year, Belgian beer Thank festival, really, really good place to visit. They do cakes and sandwiches, paninis, that sort of thing. 
and uh, I think they do uh, breakfast things as well. They open quite early in the day and does coffee. Great place to be on a Friday afternoon. Ah, uh, Cask Beer Lovers Paradise. This is the Little Ale House. Pub of the Year, at least once now. Deserves to be Pub of the Year most years, in my opinion. You're going to see in a minute a pan to the area. As you can see, their cask display, it's all behind that glass there. They've had to build another one because it's woefully inadequate for the amount of beer they sell. Okay, so it wasn't that busy, but uh, it is quite early on a lunchtime, Friday lunchtime, really. I really do recommend the beers in there. Really, really good. If you like cask beer, don't miss it if you are coming to Harrogate. This is the Cold Bath Brewing Company. It's quite new. You can see the brewing kit there on the mezzanine floor above. They do brew uh, an awful lot of their beer on the premises. And there's mine nicely in front of me. And uh, it's, it's of course a nice little place overlooking the exhibition centre. You seem to have a lot more that you brewed yourself yeah, now. Well, we, um, when we set up, um, we just struggled to get the brew kit working. We had too many uh, okay. problems like uh, drainage things that we just when you try and squeeze it in a small space like that it's a, it's a bit of a struggle i've got to say an ipa that was sensational it was it was brewed above there i will become a regular customer that was gorgeous Very decent place. I'm only walking through today though. There we go. Parking at the back. So we've got a few options here. Um, we've got, well I say a few options. That used to be the potting shed. That's closed now. It was a chain pub. Not going to shed a tear about that. There's a travel lodge here so in case you're going to take this pub crawl very seriously and decide to come over and have a bed for the night the travel lodge is just here so that's pretty good so some decent and sometimes high-end restaurants and bars down there this is the ginnel by the way monty's is the late night place there and then we've just had a change here uh, that used to be the pit on the left is now Manhattan, which is again fair to middling. Crossing the road, just checking there's nothing coming. Here we go. Very interesting place here. We're going to go in here. This is Major Tom, so this is where we're going to end. So I thoroughly recommend Porco Rosso there for the pizza. That's great. Neapolitan pizza on the left. Uh, we've got um, five guys, all bar one, the usual things. Pizza is available here in Major Tom's as well, and we're going to have a look at that in a second. The 
this is quite a different place. Some very unusual beers on, primarily keg, some cask as well. He's a regular apparently. Well that's it, that's the pub crawl. Hope that's been of use to you. Uh, we've ended in the centre of town, so there's plenty of places to eat. I would advise you to eat after that beer if you haven't already. I certainly am. Hope you've uh, enjoyed this pub crawl and uh, please subscribe if you're not yet a subscriber. Thank you very much. I'll see you again soon. Goodbye.